Hey there, loves. It's Yuli, and I'm trying something today. I'm going to take you on my journey with me, okay? I want to make a seafood mix. Now, I've never used this particular product. I found this in a grocery store. It's this little medley seafood mix. It was really, really inexpensive, and I couldn't believe the price. And I said, I just got to try it. I mean, it has a little bit of everything, calamari, mussels, and shrimp. Um, and it's they're really big pieces, so... Let's try it. There's no instructions on the bag. So you either know how to do it or you don't know how to do it. So what we're doing today is we are going to try to use my air fryer. My mother gave me this air fryer um, a couple months ago and I absolutely love it. I can't believe all these years I did not have the luxury of an air fryer like everyone else. I've been making my stuff the old fashioned way. But now that I have this air fryer, game change, game change. So we're going to make this together. You and me, all right? Let's get started. So how's everyone doing? I don't know where you are in the world. I'm in California right now. And normally people think California is hot all the time. It never rains in Southern California. Well, it's freezing here right now. And there's a 100% chance of rain. We need it anyway, so that's fine with me. All right, make sure that we cook it straight from frozen. We don't want it to thaw out and then cook it. You, you don't want to do that. You want to start it while it's frozen. So let's get it started. These are the worst scissors I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, this looks good. My husband's gonna love this if it turns out the way it should. Okay, so I am going to use this seasoning here. It is this all natural Cajun seasoning and don't use this if you don't like spicy don't eat, don't even play and then of course just regular pepper so let's get it started so first of all let's put some oil in the base here okay this part is not necessary but i like to use aluminum foil on the bottom because i like to capture all of my juices so now i'll put some cooking spray just very lightly that's it okay and we're going to literally just Pour it in. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, so I'm going to lightly season it. Let's just get some pepper going on here. And we'll be re-seasoning it halfway through as well. This is just our initial seasoning. We're not putting a lot on it because, you know, you can over season something. We can always put something on it on our plates. But yeah, this is a medley that I've never tried before and I just couldn't believe how inexpensive it was. I'm, I'm like something, nah, let's, we'll see, we'll see, we'll try it out. So first thing we'll do is hit start on here and I'm using 400 degrees and I'll start off with 15 minutes. So let's get started. And we'll come back halfway through, shake it up, and go from there. Okay, we're a little over halfway through now, so I'm just going to open it, check it. Okay, that looks really good, actually. Okay, it's coming along. It's coming along. All right. Okay, so this is our finished product. Now... I will say the shrimp and the mussels turned out great. These calamari, um, I'm not too, they're not too hot. <laughs> they're not too hot. I don't, I don't like them. I'm going to actually take out all the calamari and just go ahead and fry them normally. But the shrimp and the mussels turned out great. So I won't buy this again. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was inexpensive for a reason, but I did enjoy it. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen. Until next time, loves. Take care. Bye. Not too bad.